Hello, my name is Alex Telford, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to subdivide selected sections. Now this technique is useful very often and I use it for quite frequently. What we're going to do is we are going to add in a solder, let's say with eight sides, and just scale that off a bit. Alright, now this, this is something I often find myself doing. I add in a cylinder and I start working with it and then I'm like, oh no, I didn't want 8, I wanted 16. So you could come in and you could just subdivide and you'd get those extra ones or subdivide smooth and it gets some funny results and it's not optimal. However, what we can do is we can select just the edges around where we want and we can go Control e bevel and we'll just click anywhere and press 0.25 in the percentage and as you can see that will double up the divisions that we have and your next step of course is to clean up any areas you don't want by just triangulating them or something like that okay so let's do a more complex example let's add in a Suzanne Alright, and let's look for an area that we would want more divisions. Let's say around here. Say around these areas, we want to have some more divisions in there. What we can do is instead of adding in some edge loops and trying to fix them and make them smooth, we can select these two edges, Control E, Bevel, Set that to a 0.25 and we now have some evenly spaced divisions that are already smoothed out for us. So this is a very handy tool and doesn't, all, doesn't only work along single axes, you can select any number of edges. Sometimes they won't give you the correct results, so if I select just these ones and we bevel and we uh, bring, bring F6 up. You can see we can add in all sorts of different things and uh, it will work accordingly. So there you are. You now know how to add in divisions along one axis or a certain area of a mesh.